Let's see. <laughs> How are you, Maxi? How are you? Where are you? How are you? How are you? Not bad, and yourself? What are you? Uh... Can you hear me, Maxi? Hello? Yes. Hey, how are you, Miguel? Can you hear me? Yes, I, I hear you. Ah, right on. How are you both? I'm fine. Um, the last class, uh, you... Upset. Really? Which class? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Uh, uh, Was it on Tuesday? A night. Yes. Or oh, Tuesday at night. Ah, uh, yeah. I had to call in that day because I had a. I got called into my other job, so I couldn't uh, make it. Yes. Yeah. Simon and uh, reemplaced you. Oh, did he? Yes, Simon. Oh, okay. Yeah, I had a, I had, I had to fill in at work because they called me, so I wasn't able to make it in time to okay. uh, to to teach on on online. Yeah, I wanted to, but I just didn't have the time. How are you? Hello. All right, so we got some. Uh, I think I've had all of you before. Christian, Maxi, Miguel. That's wonderful. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. It's it's just been a very busy week for me because it's midterms. Do you know midterms? No. Like exams. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. It's like exams. So. Yeah, it's a lot of studying and a lot of uh, a lot of work as well. Regrettably, so I'm definitely trying to wind down a little bit. I only have two more weeks, and I'm done with my term. So <laughs> everything's coming together. Yeah, that's understandable. Yeah, so it's definitely been a long time. So how about you all? How have you all been? Very fine. Very waiting fine. For, waiting for classes. <laughs> Always. <laughs> right on. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm just looking for my Google Drive. Here it is. I have a I have a PowerPoint this time. I don't want to try out. So it's going to be a little bit more interactive. I've always been telling everybody that I'm uh, that I'm a uh, going to use the Google Drive. I'm finally going to use it. So, pretty exciting. And I also have to add the Google Drive. There it is. Add the... Alright. Ooh. Alright. Cool. Drive. Okay, so basically, um, we're going to be learning about. Uh, let's see, in one sec. Ah, here it is. Do, 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 do. We're going to learn about prepositions. I'm sure you guys know what prepositions are, right? 
Yes. Yeah. You want to give me an example of a preposition? Preposition uh, at, on in, in, in on. All right. Okay. So mm -hmm. you guys already know what's going on. Okay. So let's see. I'm going to put up. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to figure out how to work this. I'm going to. That out. No. Okay. So I'm going to try and figure out the Google Drive here. So create sketchpad, create shared notes, upload. There we go. So I'll also upload. So I'm going to upload. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Maybe it's this one. Select. Oh wait, who's that? My drive. Who's Chris? American South Final. Oh. All right. I'm going to use this later. So maybe I'll just share my screen for now, and then I'll deal with this later. Let's see. So let's get started. Um, let's see. Oh no. So these are the prepositions. I guess I want to that we that I want to use for this cl particular class. So definitely, you guys named some of them. So we're gonna s try and use these in describing some pictures. I'm gonna post up like in, out, beside, near, under, next to, behind. You guys have uh, heard of these, right? Yes. Yes, I've heard of them, but I don't know the meaning of one of them. Go ahead. Tell me which one you uh, have beside, trouble with. Beside. Beside. I've heard, but uh, I, don't, I don't get it. OK. Well, beside is like, uh, it's sort of just like next to, right? Next to? Yeah. But it's a little different. So I'll help you out with that, um, show you some examples that we can both use. I'm just trying to find a way of getting this picture. Let's see. Next to, next to. Yeah, beside is like you're right next to someone. But next to, you could use next to as well. It just depends on, beside is something that's a little bit more inclusive. Right? You know inclusive? Inclusive? Mm, not very well. <laughs> Inclu okay, yeah, inclusive is something that you want to include. Right? So, oh yeah, it's, uh, it's something that's within your reach, right? So the remote control or your telephone is right yes. beside you, right? Beside so you. you can just grab it, right? It's within length. But when you say next to, it's something that's like, oh yeah, the TV is next to me. Or the, uh, yes, yes, the table is next to me, right? Yes, I understand. Yeah, okay, that's cool. So I'm going to post up, hopefully, this works. All right, let me see if this works. I'm going to share my uh, screen. So let's see. Hang on. Uh -huh. Share selected window. We had to go to Google Drive. I'm sorry? Uh, um. I don't know how to use it, so I'm gonna I'm going to just share my screen. Ah, here we go. So share selected window. Can you guys see that? Yes. All right, cool. So basically, remember the prepositions I gave you. Yes. All right. So basically, uh, just looking at a. Uh, just looking at A, which one do you think, uh, which preposition would that 
say? Do you think that's a dog or a cat? A duck. Good, all right. <laughs> Letter um, what? C? I'm sorry? Yeah. Letter C? A. So a, dog, right? So dog, in. It, what do you say is in, out, beside, near, on? On. He's on. on. What do you say on? Yeah. On. Yes. On the so chair. the dog is on the chair. Yeah. Is that a true statement? Right. Right. Yes. Yeah. Right. All right. So how about B? How would you label B? It's not a chair, right? What is it? The table. The cat is on the table. Awesome. All right. Now C. That one's a little different, right? Yes. Behind. How would you pose that? The cat is behind on the, uh, behind the TV. Awesome. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right. Ha Miguel, are you there? How do you say behind to the TV? Or huh? behind the TV? Miguel, are you there? All right. Yeah, I guess he's busy. Um, so how about uh, where's the dog in D? Uh, uh, Sorry, uh, I had a question. Sure. Uh, in the example C, uh, how mm -hmm. you say the cat is, uh, is behind to the TV or behind the TV? You mean computer? Ah, computer, yes. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> behind to the computer or behind the computer? Yeah, you could say behind. Yeah, the the cat is behind the computer. Ah, uh, okay. You, you want to learn like a different way of saying it? Behind to the computer. Uh, no, just uh, I would uh behind to the computer. Uh, I wouldn't say it like that. I would just say the cat is behind the computer. Okay. And then how about D? Where would the cat be? This one's a new one. The Oops. Inside. Yeah. There you go. So, what type of furniture is that? Do you know? You want to get a guess? Inside. Inside what? Inside the closet. Ah, there you go. All right, so the cat is inside the closet. Is that what you're saying? Yes. All right. How about the dog, Indy? He's behind the closet. Ah, he is, but not all of him, right? Okay. So what else can you add, or what else can you say about the dog? <laughs> and his head is outside. <laughs> <laughs> No, definitely. It's all right. Yeah, you could try something new. Um, would, can you say that the dog is beside the closet? Yeah, why not? Or right, yeah, you can. Or you could say the dog is next to the closet. Mm. You wouldn't say that? No. No? no I don't right. think so. Is the dog near the closet? Maybe near, but specifically he's beside. All right, all right, cool. Yeah, I would, I would also agree with you, uh, Christian, that he's beside the closet. Definitely. Uh -huh. All right. How about E? How about E? Um, the dog is on the bed. Uh oh, that's a bad dog. <laughs> How about the cat? It's under the bed. All right, there you go. What can you tell me about F? F. The dog is in front to the bed. No, to the... Uh, in front of the picture. The ah. picture. In front. Okay. Definitely, yeah. What what can you what else can you tell me about the picture? The picture is beside the dog. 
Mm. No? Behind. The picture is behind the dog. Behind. Definitely. Behind, yes. Behind, behind. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Totally. All right. So how about G? The cat is behind to the... I don't know what... Well, what what can we what can we say? Of, uh, what type of furniture would that be? Maybe a dresser. Yes, a dresser. A dresser. Mm. Oh, yo quiero comida. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry about that. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. Uh, so, what can we can what can you say about the cat? Um, cat is behind the dresser. Ah, and what else can we say about the cat? Or what can we say about the dresser? The dresser. The dresser is in front of the cat. Definitely, definitely. Hey, Miguel is back. <laughs> All right. Cool. Uh, Miguel, we're just talking about uh, the different prepositions that we're using right now. Uh, are you guys are you guys looking at the chat I have up here? Yeah. The group chat. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Right near. Okay. Good. Cool. All right. So Miguel, what can you tell me about the H? H. Ah. Uh, okay. Uh, the television is between the cat and the dog. That was great. That was that was awesome. What can you tell me about the cat? Uh, the cat is mm -hmm. uh, is beside the television. All right. I like the sound of that. And uh, what about the dog? The dog um, is near the t t the television. Perfect. Yeah, totally. I completely agree with you. All right. So now it's going to get a little harder. Hopefully. But you guys are smart. I know that already. All right. So what can you tell me about Jay? Uh, Christian? The cat is on the... Is that a dresser too? Yeah, you could call it a dresser. Okay, a dresser. The, the cat is on the dresser and... The dog is beside the dresser and the cat. Definitely. All right. Uh, Maxi, what can you tell me about K? K. Uh, the bike, no, library. Say that again. Library. Mm -hmm. hey. The shelf. Huh? It's a shelf. A bookshelf. Uh, okay, a bookshelf. The bookshelf is between uh, to the cats. Between the cats. All right, between the two cats. Or yeah, you could say between the cats. Yeah, definitely. All right. And uh, what can you tell me? Is there any difference between the two cats? No. <laughs> the bookshelf right. is. Oh no. The cats uh, are next to the, the the bookshelf. Bookshelf, perfect. Yeah, you could totally say that. The cats are next to the bookshelf. Yeah. Totally. Is there another way of saying that? Anybody? Can we use beside? Uh, try it. Uh, two cats are beside a bookshelf. So the two cats are beside the bookshelf. Yes. You can use it. You can use it. There's not a problem with uh, not using it like that. People will still understand you, right? Okay. But if you want the correct pronunciation, I would go with uh, next to. I think it sounds a little better when you're talking. Uh-huh. 
but people will still understand you. You get me? Okay. So it just depends on how proficient you want to be. Uh, Miguel, what can you tell me about L? Um, the dog is next to the stereo. Oh, and what did the dog do to the stereo? I destroyed it. <laughs> I destroyed it. <laughs> it did. That it did. Did a, that main <laughs> that mangy dog. All right. Cool. All right. So yeah, you guys are getting this down really well. So basically, what I've shown you guys is just an introduction. What I want to do is to get you familiar with the household names like bookshelves, television, pictures. Um, just so uh, we get a feel of uh, uh, the lesson plan, the the PowerPoint I'm going to show you guys in a little bit. And uh, we have a new person here, Eka. Can you hear me? Eka Nasushin, can you hear me? I can hear you. How are you? Where are you from? I'm fine. I'm from Indonesia. Wow, very cool. Are you from uh, Jakarta? No, I'm from North Sumatra. Oh, okay. Aceh? Medan? Yeah, Medan. Very cool. Awesome. Well, good to have you here. Definitely. Thank you. All right. So, uh, do you know uh, the prepositions? Do you know what a preposition is? Uh, yeah. Some, All right, uh, cool. I know about it before. Mm -hmm. Do you want to try one out real quick, just so I could see uh, where you're at? Can you tell me what uh, what the dog is doing on F? Uh, on F? Yeah. Using one of the words I put on the chat. Can you see the chat? Yes. Awesome. Uh, the dog is sitting... Uh, Next to the picture. Yeah. Uh, How about uh, in front? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. But you said uh, use the preposition. Yeah, yeah, I know I did. <laughs> <laughs> I know I did. Yeah. All right. And how about G? Mm, is it a dog or cat? Is is it cat? I think it is cat. Cat. Yeah. The cat uh, is uh, standing behind the table. Behind the desk. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It could be a desk. Definitely. Oh, okay. Cool. Or a dresser, right? Yeah. Awesome. Okay, for sure. All right. So yeah, uh, nice having you here, Eka. Um, my just to okay. give you an introduction of who I am. My name is Nicholas. I'm from Los Angeles, California. So we're just uh, it's getting a little dark over here. I don't know if it's light over there, but pretty nice. Um, so what I'm going to do now is, now that I know a little bit more about how this thing is working, now I can try out opening the uh, the uh, PowerPoint. So let me see. Let me open it up. Ah, here we go. So this is going to be a little fun. All right. So let's see. This is a. Does everybody know what IKEA is? What? Really? Does everybody know what IKEA is? Kia. Uh, Ikea? I thought about the cars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, w I was thinking about that too. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you know what IKEA is? No, no. No, really. I don't know. No, not really. It's a, it's a furniture company. It's a furniture company from Sweden that is very popular here in the United States. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys a catalog, some pages from the actual catalog, so you guys could just take a look and see, uh, you know, just asking some basic questions like, what can you see and what is missing? And remember, I want you guys to try and use the prepositions that we're trying to learn here in describing the picture that you're seeing. Is that cool? Yeah, it is cool. All right, let's give it a try. All right, so share select the window. All right, Do you, can you guys see that? Yes. All right, 
So uh, let's start off with Christian. Okay, yes. First of all, what what is this? Uh, this is a bathroom, right? Oh yeah. What's in the bathroom? Uh, there's a shower and a chair. What, what's next to the shower? I think uh, the chair. <laughs> I, I don't know. My bathroom doesn't have a chair. I, I'm kind of jealous about this bathroom. <laughs> I know when I use. I know when I take a shower, I like to sit down. But <laughs> there's a mirror. And what's uh, under the mirror? I don't know the name of that. I don't mm. remember. Does anybody know the name of what's under the mirror? I cannot see the mirror. I'm sorry. Can you not see it that well? No, I cannot see it. No, Here, let me see if I can enlarge it for you. Is that better? Oh, yeah. Lavatory? Oh, the. Uh, how about? The grip. I don't know how to say that. Sink. Oh, the sink, yeah. Right. Yeah, the sink. Right. The sink. So, what, what's under the sink? What are those? Dressers? Ah, dressers is something that you find in a bedroom. What would they be called here in the bathroom? Water. Drawers. Drawers? Right. Drawers. Wow. Right? So you open them and you keep uh, soap, you keep shampoo uh, and stuff like that, right? Oh. There's a lot of noise coming from uh, somebody. All right, what's this in the middle? What's in the middle of the picture? Do you guys know? Hot tub. A bathtub. Who said that? Miguel. Ah, uh, nice, Miguel. I, I always catch, I always catch my students not knowing that one. <laughs> <laughs> bathtub, right? Definitely. And uh, what what's what's behind the bathtub? Can you tell what's behind it? I, I can't. I A can't window. See. What's that? We can't see it. It's a window. The yeah. window, really? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cool. Um, and what else can you tell me about the? What is missing when you you see this picture? And you look at your own bathroom. What what's different about your own bathroom and the picture that you see here from the, the IKEA catalog? The chair. The, the chair, right? You don't have a chair in the bathroom, right? No. That's how about uh, how about you, Eka? What's different about your bathroom when you see the picture of this bathroom? Or similarities? Is, is there something that's similar? To your bathroom, Mecca? Um, I don't have the seat. I mean, I don't have the chair on my bedroom. Uh huh. Okay. How about you, Maxi? I have a chair. <laughs> yeah, the chair, right? I think the chair is the something that's really doesn't belong there, does it? I don't have a uh, bathtub. <laughs> Well, people, where is the toilet? I cannot ah, see. Ah, that's right. <laughs> that's what's missing, right? The bathroom. Yeah. There's no toilet. Maybe it's the chair. <laughs> 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 yeah. That's a good one, Miguel. No one's ever actually said that before. That's actually pretty funny. <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely. So the chair can, can in effect, be the toilet, right? Uh, Vinicius, can you can you hit the mute button on your uh, computer? There you go. Thank you, Vinny. A anyway, oh, since you're here, Vinny, where are you calling from? I have a lot of background noise, man. I'm from Brazil. Okay, for sure. Um, what can you tell me about? Uh, what can you see in this picture? It's supposed to be a bathroom, right? I hope so. <laughs> 
it'll be nice taking a nap in the bathtub. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's no toilet. Definitely, like right? Out, right? It's a weird bathroom without a toilet, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. Um, but cool. maybe right. comfortable chair is in your toilet. Ah, uh, the chair does look comfortable, especially when you took oh. a shower for an hour, right? Oh, you yeah. need to rest after that. <laughs> <laughs> that's when that's when the masseuse. It's miss for me. It's missing a masseuse, right? Masseuse. Do you know what a masseuse is? Not really. What is it? Do you know what a masseuse is? No, no. No. Yeah, it's a person that gives you massages. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. It would be pre right? perfect. <laughs> it, it isn't a. I mean, having a masseuse, I think, is a wonderful idea. Oh, yeah. That's luxury. Yeah, right. This is a very luxurious bathroom, right? More I mean, my sure. own bathroom doesn't look like this. I neither. <laughs> it's really fancy. Right? It is. Why would you think this is a fancy bathroom? It's just big? Well... It's big and you have like, um, I don't know, it's a really big bathroom, you know? Yeah, I you think, think it's a waste, waste of space? Oh, yeah. Yeah? yeah. A lot. What would, you, what would you take out of that bathroom if you had the choice? The chair. Definitely <laughs> the chair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, the chair? That's what I would keep. Oh. That's the toilet. Uh, According to Miguel. <laughs> really? <laughs> the toilet. Not the toilet. Uh, Not that's, the toilet. A, that's a comfortable toilet. Right? Yeah. That's this, another... this chair is where you're supposed to take a shit. Uh, watch your language, Benny. <laughs> the waste. Yes, it's where you're supposed to do. That's where you're supposed to go use the bathroom. According yeah, to Miguel. Oh, okay. It's, it's a mystery for us, right? We're yeah. assuming that that's the actual toilet. Right? There's no nothing else to tell us that that's not the toilet. <coughs> and usually when you see a toilet, it's usually against the wall, but this one is fancy. This one's like in the middle of your bathroom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Awesome. So let's go on to the next picture. I think we had a lot of fun in the bathroom already. <laughs> All right, this was my favorite, favorite room in any house. So uh, let's start with... Uh, Try to use the prepositions to describe the picture, right? So I'm gonna I'm gonna repost the uh, prepositions that we're trying to figure out, and just try to use them in describing the uh, in describing the picture. So Christian, use one of the prepositions to describe the bedroom. So fire away. Okay. Uh, the Dresser is next to the bed. The dresser is next to the bed. Okay. Okay. Cool. Or near the bed. Near the bed. Yeah, you can say that. Totally. How about you, Eka? Uh, the pillows are on the bed. Oh, all right. Pillows are on the bed. Okay. How about you, Miguel? That is a, 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 win, a the window is beside. Say that again. The window is beside the bed. Ah, right on. All right. How about you, Vinny? Um. Well, the blanket is on the bed. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. All right. What else can everyone see in this picture? The, um, I'm sorry. The 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 scene the, the thing in front of the bed here. Wait, a where is the clock? What's the name of that? I'm sorry. And uh, the thing uh, in front of the bed, where where the clock is on. Oh, nightstand. Nightstand. Right next to it, right? Mm-hmm. There's always a nightstand, right? Nightstand. How many of your beds have a nightstand? Mine has. Yours yeah. has one? 
Yeah. How about yours, Vinny? You said an accent. I thought about one accent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's all right. Is it same? Is it same like standing lamp? No. Uh, a nightstand is just a a place where you put your things before you go to bed. So maybe your car keys. Uh, here in this nightstand, in this picture, you you have an alarm clock. An alarm clock. Um, it looks like some pills. What else can you see on that nightstand that people put on? What What do you put on your nightstand? Magazine, books. Books, yes. right? Maybe a book that you're reading that helps you put you to sleep. I usually have the Bible that usually puts me to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> um, some pills. It, it looks like someone has some nail polish. Wallet, right? Yeah. Now I know where why he's keep his wallet. What, <laughs> why do you need peels for, man? Huh? Why do you need peels for? Uh, maybe it's aspirin? Maybe this oh. is for... <clears throat> I don't know. Yeah. I don't have pills on my nightstand. Actually, my nightstand is uh, my desk, which is right next to my <laughs> right next to my bed. So I really don't have a nightstand. I have a desk, right? So I keep my iPad and my iPhone next to my bed, right? So I keep those two next to my bed. Um, Eka, that the lamp is interesting, right? The lamp is over the bed, right? Yeah. Uh, I would say the standing lamp is beside the bed. Definitely, yeah, it's beside the bed. Definitely. Can you say, um, could you say above the, the, the bed? You can. Um, yeah, you, you, you can. People will understand you when you say that. But, but it's, beside, it sounds kind of weird, right? No, it, uh, the lamp is above the bed. No, it doesn't, sound, <clears throat> it doesn't sound wrong at all. But usually when you say above, they're thinking that it's a, a lamp that's from the ceiling when you say above. When you say okay. beside, people understand that it's a lamp that's uh, next to the bed, like, like you see in the picture. Like if I say Canada is above the United States. Yeah, that's true. Oh, okay. You wouldn't say it's next to the United States, right? Yeah, above uh, is above the United States is very much correct. You, it's not wrong. People will still understand you, right? Okay. But they're going to perceive... Some a little something that's a little different, right? Yeah. In, so. in the way that you're speaking. Okay, that's good. Um, what else can we say about this bed? This bed is very tall, isn't it? Yeah, it's kind of. How messy. tall is it? Well, it looks very tall. I mean, look where the nightstand is. Is your nightstand that? I mean, if I were to get out of bed, I'll step on the nightstand by accident every time. <laughs> 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 You know, that's a very tall bed. I'm afraid of falling off it, you know. It's a very tall bed. Um, how about the dressers? What can you tell me about the dressers? What is that in the background there? Um, I don't know. Like, I think you hang loads. Yeah. Can't really tell, right? All right, cool. I think we discussed everything in the bed. And uh, what do you think the uh, the bedroom is missing? What's different between what's the difference between the bedroom that you're seeing here and the bedroom your bedroom? What do you oh, think it's the missing? TV. The TV. Ah, <laughs> the Xbox. TV. <laughs> the Xbox. <laughs> Miguel has a TV in his bedroom. All right. Oh yeah. <laughs> How about you, Eka? Uh, I think the bedroom has not the chair. Ah, it doesn't have a chair. That's that's actually a good point. I have three chairs in my bedroom. I have a rocking chair. How do you say almohada? Pillow. Ah, there you go. Thank you, Miguel. Or pads, right? I'm sorry? Could you say pad? Did or, I say uh, 
pad for a oh, model. Oh, pad, definitely, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, do you guys have pets? Do you keep your yeah. pets in your bedroom? At first, when you know, when she was a little puppy, yeah, but not now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I used to have pets in my bedroom. I used to have fish. I used to have uh, turtles and lizards, but now all I have are plants. They're my pets now. <laughs> <laughs> I have to give them water. I don't have to feed them. <laughs> <laughs> so it's very cheap to keep plants. Very expensive to keep a pet. Very good, Echo. Yeah, definitely. Do you have a pet in your bedroom, Echo? Not a bedroom. What's what are what are pet? What type of pets do you keep in uh, Sumatra? Cats, fish. Oh, okay. Yeah. Are there catfish? Catfish? Yeah. Yeah. Also, some people have uh, catfish. Oh, wow. Uh, catfish is one of my favorite fishes to eat. They're very uh, good. <laughs> <laughs> is everybody from South America here? No. I'm from North America. Oh, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> no, Eka's from Sumatra. Where is that? Where is Eka, do you want to do you want to tell Vinny where you're from? Okay, I'm from Indonesia. Ah, uh, Indonesia. Yeah. Oh, Indonesia. Yeah. Oh. I want to go there so bad. One of my How old are you, by the way? How old are you, Eka? Uh, I'm 24. Oh. Mm. Is, it, is she too <laughs> old for you, Vinny? You sound disappointed. <laughs> no, it's okay. I'm 20. <laughs> I like. All right. So, yeah, it's okay. Eka. Eka, are you are you my friend in in Facebook, right? Eka. Uh, I don't think so. I'm not so active in the social net network. Because I have one, I have an echo from Indonesia in my, in my list of friends. But okay, never mind. <laughs> All right, now it comes one of my favorite rooms in the house. And this is the kitchen. This is where I make my catfish. <laughs> in here. So uh, tell me, Christian. Yes. Tell me something about this uh, kitchen. Okay, it's a beautiful kitchen first. <laughs> Very white. <laughs> never uh, gets no. dirty. <laughs> Sorry? It never gets dirty. <laughs> okay, never. It's very white. Right. It's beautiful and um, we could say that the window is next to the... Oh, Refrigerator. That's right. Thank you. Refrigerator. Very good. Or the freeze. You could say fridge. Definitely. Fridge. Fridge is a fridge, fridge is a little bit of slang they can say instead of the long refrigerator. It's a very, it's a very long and cumbersome, it's a very long and cumbersome uh, word to say. You could say refrigerator or just fridge. Right? All right, Eka. Tell me something about the kitchen. The kitchen is uh, very clean for me. <laughs> <laughs> is your kitchen like this every day? <laughs> yeah, all, uh, only after I clean it up. <laughs> right? It's, it's the spotless, right? There's not a bug anywhere, there's not some bread, nothing. Everything's put away. Pardon? You, do you use a stove? Do you have a stove? Do you know what a stove uh, is? Can you type it, please? Mm -hmm. Oh, stuff, yes. I have is it stuff. Is it electric? 
Uh, it is gas. Okay. And what's the stove next to? Uh, the the fridge is next to the stuff. <laughs> or the the fridge uh, is beside the stuff. Uh, uh, is it? Is next to the sink? Yep, that's right. Yeah, also. The sink. Definitely. And what's um, above the sink? Can you guys see what's on top of the sink? This I don't know what that is. Not even in my language, man. <laughs> we we could say that the I really don't know the what stove is, that is. The uh, stove is the under little... the microwave oven. Oh, there you go. Say that again, Christian. The Where stove is, the is under the microwave oven. Per that was great. I didn't even see that, Christian. I didn't even say I didn't even see there was a microwave there. So yeah, yeah. a microwave. Where is it? I cannot see it. Christian, oh, you... I got it. I got it. Yeah. <laughs> Christian, can you describe it again? Uh, right. The the stove is under the microwave oven. That was great. Or you don't have to say microwave oven. You could just say microwave as well, and people will still understand you. Okay. Okay. You can better just say microwave. That's better. <laughs> right. Dude. The microwave oven is very long, right? So you want to try and shorten. Remember, Americans have very short attention spans. Oh. <laughs> Dude, cool. but that's what is better. above the sink? I mean, what ah, is that? Okay. Yeah. So that's a drying rack. I don't even know the name that. Drying rack. Drying rack. Drying rack. Right? Okay. Drying rack. And above the drying rack? Above the drying rack are shelves. Right? And what what do you think is on those shelves? I can't tell really well what's on top of those shelves. How do you plates. say cafeteria in English? Right, plates. What else? Dish. What are what are next to the plates? Uh, cups. Cups, right? Definitely. Virginia, feel free to jump in. Um, this this um drying rack. If I use like rack, just rack. It could mean torture, right? It could mean what? It could mean torture. Torture? Yeah, like no. You know, oh, you're rack. talking about yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. No, a rack is just something that you could hang something on, right? I mean rack. Yeah. No. A rack. Oh, you're talking about. What you're talking about? No, it's just something you could hang something on, right? In this context, but a uh, rack can also be used in uh, a rack was a torture device. You got me, but that was back in the medieval oh, okay. time. That was a long time ago, right? No, a, a rack is for hanging like uh, is for hanging clothes. You know, like uh, for hanging a uh, well a drying rack like here um, for. Uh, Hanging herbs, you know, just general stuff like that. Uh, a plate rack, right? I'm sure most of you uh, have, you know, in your mom's house when you go in, you have a, a nice plate that you have propped up as decoration. Like a decorative plate? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it's usually on a rack, right? Yes. Excuse me, teacher, what are, what are the plates? Uh, the blades. You mean the knives? No, no, blades. Where do you, where do you see the blades? Oh, right dishes. There. Oh, what what the what the brown? Uh, th those are called shelves, right? When there's more than one shelf, it's singular. So the the spelling of the word changes. So if there's one shelf then it's just called a shelf. But if there's more than one shelf, then the, the way the word is spelled changes. 
from an F to a V. So shelves, right? So those, those uh, br you could call them, uh, you know, racks as well, but the correct, the, the better word would be uh, shelves for sure. All right, cool. And what is this red thing under the window? Do you know what that's called? It's very old. You don't see that a lot in uh, new in new houses. No. So this is actually something that's very old. What is that for? It's uh, it gets you warm during the winter. Oh. Mm -hmm. So have you ever heard of a furnace? That's called a furnace. So what it what a furnace is is basically just a heater. You know what a heater is? Oh, it's like yeah, some yeah. kind of oven. But, uh, how, how does no. it work? <laughs> You're well. I, uh, no, it's not an oven. Uh, it keeps you warm during the winter, right? Like because remember, we're talking about... This is a magazine from North America. So in North America, it gets cold, right? It gets colder, anyway. So it keeps you warm. Like I'm sorry? Kind of air conditioner? Yeah. Yeah, it's sort of like an air conditioner, but it's uh, a place to burn firewood. It burn. It okay. doesn't burn firewood, Eka, but it burns. And what it does, it heats oil in uh, the winter. Is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It heats oil, so it's actually oh. uh, there's oil in in the furnace, and what it is, it's uh, it's keeping you warm that way. Or it could be using uh, hot water. So the actual furnace is actually on the bottom of the building. If it's an older building, you find the furnace all the way on the bottom. And there, it, it boils water, and steam comes through the furnace. But they don't kind of old, no? Yeah, yeah, it's a furnace. It, when you see something like that, it's the the word for it is furnace. So just be aware of that. You'll see a lot of those if you travel to the U.S. because a lot of the older buildings still use those. Um. Uh, yeah. Using electricity, yes. A lot of the new furnaces, uh, they they these type do not use uh, electricity. It instead they use uh, electricity to heat the oil, right? So there's no electric electricity going through it. It goes through a different a different way, right? No, no, you're loud. Yeah, it's a little difficult, I guess, to understand. But yeah, so this is a this is a typical uh, kitchen. Uh, ha so what's missing in this kitchen that's different from your kitchen? You wanna start it out, uh, Miguel? I don't know. I really, I really don't like the kitchen. I don't know how to cook. <laughs> do you have a microwave? <laughs> Yeah, I have. Oh, you do? Oh. Yeah. All right. Uh, you're you're a very special man then, because uh, <laughs> my family in Colombia don't have a microwave. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Eka, do you have uh, what's different from this kitchen to your kitchen? Um, I think this kitchen doesn't have a, a table dinner dinner table. Yeah. Okay. Where people can eat. Yes. Definitely. Right? Yeah. Ah, Miguel still is in the mom's eyes. Alright. Okay, so yeah, it doesn't have a Good place for where him. you can come and eat. <laughs> Alright. Vinny, what do you think it's missing there? The table. Wow. The table too? Right on. Yeah. Sure. Also the uh -huh. table. And the spawn? Yeah. The spawns, the knife, no. forks. I mean, for my no. house, it's missing food. There's no food. <laughs> <laughs> There's usually food everywhere, like on the, on the counter. Do you know where the counter is? 
The counter is the most important part of the kitchen. That's where you do all your cutting. That's where you do all your preparation. So you're gonna make when you're gonna make food, right? That's the counter. The counter is located between the sink and the stove, right? It's missing some um, silverware. There's no. Uh... Yeah, right. Silverware. They probably keep it in the drawer, maybe, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't keep that outside. People coughing, you know, picking it up. Definitely. Uh, how about a you, knife. A knife? Yes. <laughs> you need a knife, Is there a baby huh? Crying? Yeah. Virginia, what, what do you think yes, is missing from this kitchen that's different from yours? Man, there's uh, a baby I think crying. This is quite big. It's big, right? It is big. Yes. It is big. Uh, but I don't know if he, this have a dish. Uh, how do you say washing dishes? How do you say that? Oh, a dishwasher. Oh, a dishwasher. Oh yeah. A dishwasher, right? A dishwasher. Dish, dishwasher. That's right. Definitely. Okay. Very cool. Yeah, it's totally missing a dishwasher. I mean, I have a dishwasher in my house, but we never use it. <laughs> Why not? Really? <laughs> yeah, because my mother believes that it, it, it uses too much water. Oh. Uh... Give it to me. Uh, yeah. Similar to the washing machine. Oh no, she uses a washing machine. <laughs> <laughs> but it uses too much water too. Uh, uh, Virginia, can you turn off the live stream? You don't need to have the live stream on. You don't need to have the live stream on. Where the Colingo link is? You don't have to have that on. Alright, cool. There you go. So yeah, definitely, Virginia. You, that was a good one. Dishwasher. I completely missed that one. Yeah. Does everybody have a dishwasher in their kitchen? Eka, do you have a dishwasher in your kitchen? No, I wash my plates manually. Ah, I do too. <laughs> I do too. It's fun, isn't it? it get your hands get pruny. Uh, actually, it, it's not me who who was the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> you don't find joy in washing dishes. <laughs> um, All right. <laughs> not really. Does, I'm, I'm kidding. I mean, I'm kidding. Who does? Nobody does, right? That's why. That's why there's dishwashers, right? <laughs> Very cool. Um, and what's next to the drying rack? Do you guys remember where the drying rack was? Yeah. Yeah. Would you say above, or next to, or how would you how would you describe that? Um, that green thing. Yeah, that green thing. What is that? I don't know. 